Hi people, welcome to blog number 10 of myvirginkitchen.com. Today I am going to be making a nice dinner, I think. It's sausage and pasta bake. And here is my illustration of a sausage. Cool. So yeah, recipe number 10. All you need for this one is sausages. I want for eight nice sausages that were on sale in Sainsbury's. Um, some tomato and basil um, sort of tomatoey pasta sauce stuff. Um, 350 grams of pasta and the most exciting ingredient in this is some mozzarella balls um, this you need half of this you need about what is it, 150 grams of that and I've, I've got 250 so just over half of it um, that's a real squidgy thing it's quite nice actually a bit like putty so you can just you know it's almost as addictive as bubble wrap so uh, that's the recipe for today so uh, why not give it a try with me okay then guys what I've done the very first step is I've got my sausages and I cut them up. I didn't use a knife, I actually used scissors. Like I was making, you know, wrapping a present or something like that. And it was so easy, very safe, and as you know me, safe is good. Um, so what we're gonna do is the sausages are gonna go on the George Foreman. And if anyone knows my George Foreman by now, you'll know that it only works well to music. And uh, his music of choice today is the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. So uh, let's put these sausages on. Okay, so while that's happening, they're cooking. Um, I'm going to put on to boil a pan of water which the pasta is going to go in. Okay, so things are moving on a bit. Um, the sausages are done, all good. Um, I've put the pasta in a pan of boiling water and I've heated up a frying pan which I'm going to put the pasta sauce in and the sausages. So that's all going to mix together. It's all going to heat up and it's all going to be good. Um, it said to cook the pasta um, a la Dante. I don't know what that means, but I'm basically going to go by the packet instructions, which says... It says 20, 20 minutes. So it'll be on there for 20 minutes and we'll see what happens. Um, but it looks like it's cooking there. I'll just shove a knife in it, see if it's soft and then it'll be good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. We're going to all come together in a bit. Um, so I think the Dirty Dancing soundtrack works, so I can uh, turn it off. So cheers George, there's the sausages. They are a little black, but hey, everyone likes a barbecued taste, right? Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so the um, pasta is still bubbling away. Um, the pasta sauce has just gone in. It says to empty the, the uh, can of um, pasta sauce and then half fill it with water, so that's just over half full, put a little bit more away, alright that'll do, so it's a, a murky colour, a bit like the colour of a, a nice cider or something like that if, uh, if you're drunk, um, so I'm going to pour this in, and then you chuck your sausages in as well, so like that, stir that all together, And then we'll leave that to simmer for a bit and hopefully it should uh, finish around about the same time as the pasta. So while that's happening, I've pulled out my old uh, mozzarella ball, um, cut this open, drained it a little bit, and it looks like that. Now there are many descriptions I could use to describe uh, what that looks like, but I'm not even going to bother because this uh, could be uh, become an illegal video. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to chop that in half because we only needed half of it anyway. And to be honest, the rest, I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Maybe I could use it to seal my windows. I don't know. Um, basically, going to cut slices into that and then that's going to be scattered over the um, over the pasta once it's done basically, into uh, this oven dish. So um, what, what I'm going to do now is preheat my grill. Ooh, where can I put Yeah, Right. Okay, the grill's not working, I'll turn that on in a minute. I managed to get the grill on. All good, you can't see it, but I did it. And I've cut my mozzarella up into nice little circles. Um, that's not a circle, that's not mozzarella, that's the lid to the pepper. Because I have got to season the sausage and pasta sauce thing. So seasoning to me is basically a bit of salt and pepper. And it does say some, to put some basil in, and luckily I have some of that 
spare from another recipe. So, chuck a bit of that in. Basil, you can see that. Give it a stir. And my pasta should be done any minute now. Right, so I've now drained the pasta. Chiching. It's still a bit hot, all the water's out of it. Chuck that back in the pan. Oh, it's got a bit of pasta. So that's all in there. And then this pasta mix with the sausages. This, sorry, I wasn't filming it then. Oops. Um, comes off there. And then do, do, do. we pour it all into the pan. Like that. Oh no, I've melted me uh I've melted my spatula thing. I think I should have used a wooden spoon. Never mind. Right, so that they're both done. It's all in there. What I'm gonna do is give it a quick stir and then it's gonna go in the oven dish and then in the grill and need time to eat. Okay, so we're nearly there. Excuse me. Boom. Um it's all in there. Stirring it around. I might as well use my melted spatula. To stir it around some more. I've given it a teeny bit more seasoning and all I'm going to do is whop that in that pan and dot the mozzarella on it, shove it in the grill for three or four minutes until it's all melted and then it's done. So here we go. Looking good, looking good. take that spatula out, don't want to get it melted. Right. So there we go, that's in there. We'll uh, flatten it all down a bit, spread it out so it's fairly evenly balanced. And then get your mozzarella, spread it across. Do, do, do. and then shove that in the grill. Okay, I think we're there. Um, grill is been there for a couple of minutes, just doing its thing. I did turn it round. I reckon it's about three or four minutes to do it. So I'm gonna pull this out. And there we go. Sausage and pasta bake. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle some more basil on there. There we go. Probably be good to have a bit of garlic bread with that, but I wouldn't really know, but I'll probably just have a toast to be honest. Um, so. Oh wow, you get the whole stringy cheese thing. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna put my plate there. Can worry about the mess later. Ah, no, stringy cheese. Right, as I said, presentation is not my uh, forte, but imagine there's a nice little salad there next to that or something, and a bit of garlic bread, and you're not far off. Uh, right, there we go. So that was uh, too, wasn't too bad. So there we go, ten, recipe number 10, sausage pasta bake, is all done.